What's up, NBA fans? What's up, all sports fans? This your boy, JB, host of the Behind the Bench Podcast Network and channel. Just want to give a shout out to the rest of the crew. I'm talking about Shy, Kevin, and Jermaine. For everyone who's tuning in, I hope that you support Behind the Bench, become a subscriber, and help make the show the best that it can be. Wow. Let's get right to it, man. Man, this cat right here, man. Derrick Rose. I remember his uh, first, his debut game in the playoffs versus the Boston Celtics 2009. And I believe at the time, uh, he scored more points in a debut playoff game than any player uh, in history. I think he had something like 36 points. And I believe that was the playoff where uh, it was such a great freaking playoff. I believe that was the playoff that included like about three or four overtime games. I think one of those games went like three overtimes. I think that's the game Ray Allen had like 50 some points. I mean, he was just he was just going nuts that game, hitting one big shot after the next. And then uh I think uh Ben Gordon was hitting uh, big shots too when he was playing with the Bulls. But nonetheless, Derrick Rose gave a glimpse as to what type of player he can be. And uh I remember watching him, you know, throughout what turned out to be his MVP season, uh 2010-2011 uh campaign. And he led the Chicago Bulls. Now, if you look at that roster, they played hella five defense. They played hella five defense, Chicago Bulls. Yo Kim Noah, Luau Dane. They, they, uh, yeah, Carlos Bulls were on their team. Uh, uh, Gibson. Uh, who was, I always thought of. Uh, uh, Gibson was Taj Gibson was one of the uh, top five uh, greatest dunkers in the game during that time. I mean, man, he can he went up like Dominique Wilkins, though. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he led the Bulls to sixty one wins, right? Sixty one to twenty one, and he was the only scorer on that team. Like Lou Alden get you maybe fifteen points, something like that. But I'm talking about someone. Who, who can, you know, kind of generate their own offense and score off the dribble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the only player they had like that on their team was was uh, Derrick Rose. And he led them to the Western Conference Finals against the Miami Heat. And actually took a, uh, one game. Is he will lead in that series before Miami uh, would eventually win in five and they advanced to the finals. But uh, going to that next year, Chicago Bulls, they improved their roster to where they had, I remember they had the best defensive team, uh, top uh, 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 ranked defensive team, top ranked rebounding team, and they had the top uh, scoring bench in the, in the league. So I believe, based on what Derrick Rose did, in 2011, that it would carry over, and I, I honestly believe that Derrick Rose could have and would have led the Bulls to another championship. That's how good he was, because he was so explosive. I believe he was a little more explosive attacking the basket, or as they say, attacking the rack, than Russell Westbrook. Like it was a combination of power. You know, uh, where he wouldn't be denied. Whereas Westbrook was more... I mean, you really couldn't go wrong with either one. Uh, I think Westbrook... Had a little more speed, per se. But as far as just like, I'm not going to be denied. I'm going to score on two, three guys if I have to. Derrick Rose, I think he was... You know, he was the top guard in the league at that time. 
uh, uh, drive to the basket and, and uh, can score, you know, with, with, with contact, you know. But going to that playoff, uh, in 2012, I said, man, the Bulls can go to the, they can go to the finals. I believe they can win the title. They was prime. They was prime. And then that first round series versus the Philadelphia 76ers. And he suffered that knee injury where people may forget his whole knee gave out. Every ligament. ACL, MCL, PCL. His whole knee just went out. And it was the most devastating injury that I've ever seen in the NBA playoff. The most devastating injury I've ever seen. It's like your heart sunk. And you can just feel the, 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 the air just leave uh, the United Center, those Bulls fans, man. You just feel sad, man. You know, like if you was an NBA fan, you don't want to see a player get injured like that. And it just seemed like, you know, I remember they was number one seed. They had the best record. If I'm mistaken, I believe they had the best record in the league. That's how great, that's how much of a force Derrick Rose was before he suffered that injury. And once uh, he suffered an injury, uh, you know Chicago wasn't going to recover from that, and they lost their series to Philly. And, and that whole bracket opened up. You know, for the rest of the Eastern Conference teams. And then uh, Miami and Boston wound up facing each other in, in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. And then uh, Miami beat Boston in seven games. And they uh, went to the finals versus OKC. And uh, I think, you know, everybody who followed the NBA knew how that uh, turned out in the end. But I believe Chicago Bulls, with the real Derrick Rose, prior to their injury, he would led them to a championship. Matter of fact, I remember uh, when the Chicago Bulls celebrated their 20, uh, the, the 25th anniversary of their first championship, and they had most of the roster that was on that 91 championship team uh, attend and participate in that ceremony. And then uh, Michael Jordan uh, in attendance, he, you know, he spoke you know, uh, on behalf of the team. He said, you know, uh, Chicago fans, get ready, you know, uh, um, you're about to win uh, some more championships, you know. That's how good Derrick Rose was, and, and to see him go down like that, uh, he was never able to recover from that injury, you know. And it wasn't like I said, it wasn't like one ligament went out; his whole knee gave out, and you can see it as soon as he that play where he drove to the back. You just see his knee just gave out. You know, it's kind of similar to what Jamal Murray uh, suffered a couple years ago in 21, but. Like I said, that was just his ACL. Derrick Rose, uh, his whole knee gave out, you know. And uh, for him to be able to come back and be a, a, a productive player, you know, uh, to where at least you have to play him honest, it, it really just shows how dedicated he was, I think, to the sport. And, and, I, and, and I know, you know, when you suffer injury like that, you try to come back from it, you always got that down the back of your mind, like, you know, can I return back to form? And you just kind of knew that he knew that uh, that was never going to be the case. But, you know, he tried to carve out a niche for himself as a six-man, as he uh, did so with the New York Knicks. Uh, but prior to that, uh, he played that one year for the Timberwolves where he had that 50-point game and, you know, everybody's rooting for him and stuff. He gave you like a... Uh, uh, a semblance of who he used to be before that injury. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to shed light on that man, Derrick Rose. He had hops like crazy, man, and he was just a determined uh, player. You know, he had intangibles where it can carry a team to a championship, you know. So it's just unfortunate he had an injury. Like I said, this is the worst injury I've ever seen in playoff basketball. But, uh, but you know, he was the league MVP for 2011. That was uh, Derrick Rose. So I just want to drop that nugget, man, and and uh, to speak on a, a great player. But until next time, this is JB 
BTB Behind the Bench.